to say when you ask who are the leaders of black people? What's the truth? Yes. All of the leaders of black people are white. Now what we call leaders are spokespersons. I am a spokesperson. What is a black spokesperson? A person who speaks. In other words, here's a mic, here's a podium, I walk around up here, and I stand here, and I speak. I don't produce anything. The clothes that I'm wearing and whatnot, they have a source. You know where it is. Okay? So I'm just a spokesperson. And there are a lot of people who wear the tag of leader just because they are speaking. You see them on TV all the time. They are spokespersons. What's the requirement of a leader? First of all, you've got to be able to protect your followers. I don't know of any black person on earth that can do that. Now, when I say protect your followers, I mean from the white supremacists. That's the only time you're a black leader. That a black person who is my leader, I get in trouble, I get on the phone. All I should have is that leader's phone number and say, hey, look, maximum leader. I'm down here in, on La Brea and I'm in trouble with the white folks. Tell me where you are again, and I tell him. He says, okay, don't worry about a thing, I'll take care of it. And they will know it when they hear that I'm on my way. Now see, now you've got a leader. Now I'm talking about it and they mean it. I mean, you know, and when they hear he's coming, I mean, they, you know, they turn you loose and take off running. Now you got a leader. Other than that, you just got a spokesperson. You just got a person to come there and, you know, and speak for you. And the racists will say, well, I don't know. I don't know whether we let him go or not. What do you think, Dale? See, no, that's not leadership. Leadership is when you got the muscle. Otherwise, you're just talking. Now, somebody might say, by that analogy, Jesus was not a leader. Well, Jesus, according to every, what everybody told me, had the best leadership in the world. And that was God. Okay? So you can't argue against that one, the creator of the universe. But see, I don't see no black person that is supposed to have that kind of muscle. Not even enough muscle to get white people, you know, to back off. I mean, where they can't question it. See, there's no negotiating. See, because the white supremacists don't negotiate. They don't have to negotiate. They just say, hey, move. Like, I just want to say this about, you know, gangs and all like that. That's something I try to impart to young and old gang leaders. I say, now, you're supposed to be a gang leader. You ain't even got a good medic. Right. One of your guys gets shot, you got to call for public service. Now, what kind of leadership is that? You're supposed to be the baddest dude out here. All right? Not only that, they come and bulldoze your grandmother's house. And you said it was your turf. And there's some white guy out there sitting on a caterpillar, you know, bulldozing your grandmother's house and eating a sandwich while he's doing it. He ain't even got a gun. And this is your turf. Now, see, when you're a real gang leader, you go out there and tell all them 500 construction workers, you all be out of here by noon. And by the way, leave your equipment. It's mine, because it's on my land. Yeah, see how that flies. <laughs> okay.